I always love bringing you good news. And in our commitment to follow through on stories that you care about, there is a great update this morning on a program that I first featured at the end of November. That's when we met Karen Martin. The East Cleveland woman is one of nearly half a million Ohioans caring for a loved one who has Alzheimer's or other dementia. And the toll on caregivers is significant, with 59% of them saying they're dealing with emotional stress, according to the Alzheimer's Association. Karen's story about the daily struggles she faces caring for her 92-year-old mother resonated with so many of you, including the man who provided the seed money to start a relief program that's extending a vital lifeline to caregivers. Despite losing her ability to speak, Josephine Castora could still smile. Yeah, and I see over your shoulder that smile. Yeah. Um, she just looks like she was full of life. You know, you know, it's hard for me to talk about it four years later. You can see on his face and hear in his voice the pain of losing his wife, still raw for Jan Castora. The journey's been a long journey. Josephine died in 2019, more than a decade after being diagnosed with dementia. FTD, frontal temporal dementia, aphasia. As her condition deteriorated, Castora dug in, caring for his wife 18 hours a day. As for the other six... I was in a position I could hire people. The break allowed Castora to do things like visit family and friends and play golf and it recharged my battery. However, Castora knew for so many people impacted by Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia, there is no break. And that's why the, uh, the emotional and physical strain on them is so intense, because it doesn't change. What is changing though, is much needed help is available through the Jan and Josephine Castora Caregiver Relief Program. I called the Alzheimer's people to see if they'd be interested if I gave them a million dollars to initiate this program. Caregivers who qualify, like Karen Martin, whose story we shared in November, get 100 hours of care at no cost through the Alzheimer's Association. Karen is an example of many caregivers who have no opportunity to get out of the house, to take a break from their labor of love caregiving journey. Are you ready to eat? Karen's journey, striking a chord. It was so great to hear what happened. Absolutely, the response had been, has been wonderful. You guys received some generous donations because of our story. We did, we got some phone calls from people who saw the story and wanted to make donations to help continue the program being available for people. Among those providing a financial boost, Castora, adding another $10,000 to the program. We have home care agencies in 12 counties in Northeast Ohio. Which is seeing a spike in requests from caregivers since November. The statistic that's really troubling is that a lot of caregivers pass away before the person that they're caring for does and so that's just telling us that the caregivers need more support themselves. Castora tells me he doesn't need validation for what he is doing. He saw a need and stepped up to help ease the strain for those impacted by dementia. I want to help people and I'll continue to do it. Well, we recently checked in with Karen Martin and she tells us she received an additional 50 hours from the caregiver program. That extra time allows her to take care of herself so she can continue caring for her mother. The Castora Family Caregiver Relief Program provides assistance to families in 12 Northeast Ohio counties. Organizers are looking for more participants, especially in Lorain County. There's dedicated funds just for Lorain County. To learn more about the program, you can call the number or email that, uh, the address on your screen. We posted the information for you right now on our News 5 app and website. What a great program and to yeah. see so many people giving to it's that program. so great to 